Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's begin. Squirt a decent amount of ketchup into a container, then put a few scoops of baking soda in. After stirring it around for a while, you'll notice it's kind of orangey and a little bit bubbly. Then light a candle and all you have to do is pretend to pour and the candle will go out. This works because the vinegar and the ketchup reacts with the baking soda and one of the products is carbon dioxide which happens to sink in air. So when you're pretending to pour, the carbon dioxide is coming out and extinguishing the flame. Here's how to blow Jolly Rancher bubbles. Grab the worst flavor of Jolly Ranchers and put them in the microwave. Once heated, they should be a hot sticky liquid. After letting it cool down a bit since I put them in the microwave for way too long, I grabbed a metal straw and coated the tip with some Jolly Rancher. Then you can blow into the straw and bubbles should shoot out. Here's how to make your own Pop Rocks. First start off with some food dye. I wanted to make some purple Pop Rocks, so I used a combination of red and blue. Next, add sugar and mix it around, allowing it to clump. Pop Rocks are just crystallized sugar with trapped pockets of carbon dioxide. That's why the next ingredient is carbonated water. The sugar is really good at absorbing some of the carbon dioxide of the beverage, and the last step is to boil off the remaining water. So I put it in the microwave for three minutes. You can tell it worked because adding a bit of water gets that signature crackling sound. You've seen all three videos now. Pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. And by the way, this round was back in season one, but never got posted to shorts because it was over a minute. If you only watch shorts, you might want to know that I just released a full marathon of season one with all 26 rounds. And I also included data about what the audience guessed. So check that out if you want to binge the full season, but let's move on to the reveal for this round. All right, mixing baking soda with ketchup actually does allow you to extinguish candles. And although the signature crackling from Pop Rocks does come from the release of trapped carbon dioxide in the candy, this was absolutely not a real way to make Pop Rocks. This is what I did instead. 